Hello dear students, welcome to the GC Math Panel Online. In this particular paper, we are looking at June 2020, paper three, Math Statistics. We will begin by looking at question one, and we implore you that you should visit our website because most of our videos are not online. So go to our website, as you can see on the screen, www.gcmathspanel.blogspot.com, where you have the rest of these videos. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe and to click on the notifications so that immediately you upload a new video, you'll be immediately informed about the video which has been uploaded please leave your comments and share your ideas with us and papers you'd like us to answer it is from that that we will know what you need and serve you better if there are some papers you'd like us to answer you can equally leave your comments please visit our blog at www.gcematspanel.blogspot.com if you click on the link below this video you will have the paper and if you click on the link below this video you equally find the blog the website where the remaining videos and the answers are found stay tuned as we take this paper to the end so we begin by looking at question one the first question reads so the first question is about uh, two events a and b are such that the probability of A is equal to one third and the probability of B is equal to two over nine, while the probability of A given B is equal to one on three. Find the probability of A intersection B, find the probability of A union B, the probability of A given B prime, and state the reasons whether A and B are mutually exclusive, okay? Mutually exclusive if they're independent and if the last condition there holds. So let's start by looking at the first question. So the first one is look for the probability of A intersection B. So for the probability of A intersection B, we have been given the probability of A, inter, uh, A given B, which is equal to that value. So from here, we know that the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A given B times the probability of B. So from here, we will have this to be equal to a half, which is the probability of A given B times the probability of B. And the probability of B here is two over nine. So this gives us one over nine as the answer. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe and to leave your comments. Click on the notifications as you watch this video. Most of our videos are not here on YouTube. So please go to www.gcematspanel.blogspot.com. You can equally just click on the link in the description below this video. It will take you directly to the website. And if you need this question paper, you equally click, there's another link there. It will take you to the page where we have all our past questions. You can equally join us online for our free live relations on Zoom and other live channels. So the B part of the equation wants us to calculate the probability of A union B. So the probability of A union B is given by probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So we fit in these values, we substitute these values. Um, probability of A is a third, probability of B is equal to two or nine, while the probability of A intersection B is one or nine. So simplifying gives us a value of four on nine. Okay, and finally, C, the probability of B given A prime is equal to the probability of A intersection B, all that on the probability of A prime. But we know that probability of A prime is equal to one minus the probability of A, because A prime means A complement, right? So this just give us, substituting these values, we have um, one over nine, all that on one minus one, third because the probability of A is one third and this gives us one over six. Now for the Z, we should show that this event, we should state the reasons whether A and B are mutually exclusive. So what do we mean by mutually exclusive? Two events A and B are mutually exclusive if the probability of A intersection B is equal to zero, okay? So in our case here, let us see. So since our probability of A intersection B here, what did we have? We had one over nine, which is not equal to zero. It implies A and B are not mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusiveness occurs only when probability of A intersection B is equal to zero, which is not the case that we have here, okay? Then now E, show that the events are independent, whether or not A and B are independent. 
For independent events, uh, the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So let's see if this holds here. The probability of A times probability of B here gives us one third times two over nine, which is equal to two on 27. Why the probability of A intersection B, as we had earlier, was one over nine. Now these two values are not the same. And because they are not the same, we cannot conclude that these events are independent events. So A and B are not independent, okay? And finally, E, F rather, whether or not A and B are collectively exhaustive. What do you mean by collectively exhaustive events? Two events are collectively exhaustive if probability of A or B is equal to one. So let us see if the probability of A or B here gives us one. Normally, if you look at the B part of the equation, you already know that these events are not collectively exhaustive because it's the probability of A or B is equal to four over nine, right? And from here, two events being um, collectively exhaustive, requires that the probability of A plus probability of B should be equal to one. But the probability of A plus the probability of B here does not give us one, right? And since it does not, the sum does not give us one, we conclude therefore that A and B are not collectively exhaustive, are not collectively exhaustive. All right, the last part here is collectively exhaustive, not mutually exclusive. So guys, thank you so much. Please click on the link in the description below so that you can get to the remaining part of the videos. Don't forget to subscribe and to leave your comments. The rest of the eight uh, questions are in our blog. So just go to the link that you have at the top right of your left of your screen, www.jcmaspanel.blogspot.com, where you will get to our website. Or you click on the link below this video on your phone, you will see two links, the link of the remaining corrections and the link for our past questions and solutions. When you get there, you meet us. Equally, if you click on the first link, you will get to our website where you can join us on WhatsApp. As we have revision, you'll see our timetable. Statistics on Tuesdays and Sundays, while mechanics on Sundays and Thursdays. We look at paper one, two, and three. So join us in this revision as we prepare for our A grades. It's not just for mathematics, ordinary level, and A level. There are many others. So please go to our website. You will see the WhatsApp groups to join for different subjects and for different levels. Stay blessed as you prepare for your GCE examination. Don't forget to subscribe and to share our videos on WhatsApp and YouTube. God bless you. Bye-bye.